Jesus fucking Christ. Hi guys. It is a blissfully rainy night. At the close of this crazy holiday weekend, although it's going to be keeping going all week. It is now a blissfully cool, rainy summer night. We can say goodbye to the wildfire smoke at least for a day or two. Goodbye and good riddance. It is now late at night on Sunday, July 2nd, 2023. So, uh, you know, I love reading my little love notes. And welcome to our tiny home guest book. So this was this lady, <laughs> this woman who uh, was here for two nights, checked out today. I'm just now finding her, her love note she left me. Sam. Sam, you are a gem. Thank you for your kindness, your vision, and your being beautifully authentic. Journey well. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, God damn it, guys. Just so close. So close and yet so far. So, uh, this woman uh, was not exactly Dulcinea. Uh, <laughs> we had a... Uh, I don't know what the BMI was. You know, this woman was about 50. Probably would have been pretty good looking if she had, you know, like cut her BMI in half. And I'm just thinking, Hambo, you just got to get over it with the fat chicks. Uh, so anyway, I just grinned and bared it as it were. So, uh, it was Saturday night, so neither one of us had anything to do, so I asked her if she wanted a margarita, sure, she, so I made a couple of margaritas, and I invited her up to the margarita deck up in the piney woods at the Seahorse Piney, so we go up there having our margaritas, and she, uh, on a Saturday night, and, you know, I'm, I'm blurring the lines here. And uh, so I think, you know, I guess after a, after a few sips of her drink and uh, just very delicately getting her life story, you know how gay people use this word partner? Partner. You know, I was asking her what led her to choosing uh, uh, Bugs in a Jar Farm, she, when she made the reservation, she said she was looking for a peaceful place to sleep and meditate. And it sounded perfect here. So I, you know, asked her, as I always do, how she landed here. And she was talking about how she just broke up with her long-term partner. And uh, so she's not a breeder, was not a breeder. And so I'm taking, I guess, one of the reasons why she's not a breeder. So anyway, we and, and enjoyed getting to know each other up on the margarita deck. So she enjoys margaritas. She absolutely loved this. I mean, completely fell in love with Bugs in a Jar. And uh, I especially got a laugh out of this. So we're up there and <clears throat> somehow the, the subject of uh, ceremony, uh, meaning peyote and ayahuasca ceremony came up. You know, she was talking about how this would be such a great place to have a ceremony. And uh, she kind of, you know, made sure 
kind of looking at me like, Ugh, did I know what she was talking about? And so we were talking about that, and she was telling me that she has a sweat lodge on her place, and <clears throat> she has <coughs> some Native American name with the word wolf in it. And so she goes, when, when she found out I knew what ceremony meant, uh, she said, she goes, you know, she, she goes, I get a real, like, Native American indigenous vibe off of you in this place. She goes, are you uh, <clears throat> into the, you know, whatever they call it, the, what's that called, the beauty way or the, <clears throat> whatever the, you know, the term for the Native American path, I think it's the beauty way or whatever term she used. So she's wanting to know if uh, I am one of these noble savage wannabes. And uh, I said, oh, uh, I said, I'm not uh, e either on or off that path. That's what I told her. I was thinking about her listening to some of my Native uh, American uh, noble savage rants. We did not talk about the original invaders and the megafaunal extinction. And I just let her have her little fantasy in her in her uh, sweat lodge. And then you know she was saying as you know, she uh, was insisting that she heard this uh, wolf howling uh, right back here across the creek. I can't believe it. She said, you know, it was not a coyote. She goes, it, this was not a coyote. It was not a dog. Uh, she was insisting that she heard this wolf howling. And I found this recording that I made two years ago in the exact same spot. This right here back, uh, I'm talking 100 feet from, not even 100 feet from where I'm sitting. Right there, it used to be my cornfield where I recorded this wolf. I have it, you can, you can find this thing. It says on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. I have two versions of it about this koi wolf what they call this koi wolf, C-O-Y-W-O-L-F. And I have the, you know, two versions of the recording, if you want to hear this thing. So uh, I played her the recording, and uh, she said that is exactly what I heard. So that's some good news. So I, I'm just very disappointed. I mean, I have no idea why I didn't hear it. I was just right up here in the next tiny house with the windows wide open. She said it was about 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, got her up out of bed right here. She said she was about ready to go hide in the house, even though even though she has wolf in her name. Uh, it's the damnedest thing. I, I, I mean, this, this, this goddamn thing is a wolf. There's no koi about it. Now go listen to this thing. Just look up koi wolf recording or whatever, and you can hear it. So anyway, and now the woman who was supposed to be in this tiny house, she's all paid up. So I've been trying to find this woman uh, for like 12 hours. Where the hell are you? And I just heard from her saying that she ended up at a friend's house and she will see me tomorrow so that was an easy that was easy money but uh any who's looks like a rainy week here for the fourth of july i have a family of four moving in tomorrow with a two-year-old and a five-year-old they're going to be here for four nights oh boy so I better get some sleep before that. Anyway, I just got a kick out of that that sweet message. She never mentioned the tiny house. She just talked about uh, 
what a gem and a man of vision I am. She loved my vision at Bugs in a Jar, my Native American beauty way vision. Come see me in my vision. I'm going to bed. I need to find my little dog. Where are you, little dog? Are you under that bed? Oh my gosh.